Why does Aquarius come off as aloof, detached, or unemotional? Let's talk about it. If you're a first time watcher, I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a natural intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient, empathic, psychic tarot reader, and I would love to do a personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading for you. Please visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, for that information on how to purchase your reading. By the way, you can purchase your reading directly from my website. You can also purchase a birth chart reading. The information will be listed in the FAQ section as well as the personal ethics section. So if you have any questions, check out those sections on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com, okay? I would love it if you would also subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Also, I would love it if you would like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. The links will be down below in the description box, okay? Why do Aquarius men, or why does an Aquarius man, why do Aquarius women, and why does an Aquarius woman, woman and woman, why do Aquariuses seem so aloof, detached, and unemotional most of the time? <laughs> or some of the time, because we have to understand, you know, that we're not just our sun sign. We are a totality of a birth chart, which is a placement of the planets in the sky at the time we were born, right? At the time that we were brought into this earth. So, Aquarius is, we have to remember, are ruled by Saturn and Uranus. Now, I will say that Uranus is their main ruler, their main influencer, their main... Um, I'd say source of energy but we do have to remember that you know think of it as Uranus would be Aquarius's sun and like Saturn would be Aquarius's rising sign like you know like think of it that way like it, uh, Saturn may not have a as big of an influence on Aquarius as Uranus does but it definitely does still have an influence right all right, let's break down what these planets are all about. So Uranus, Aquarius's main influencer, is all about, uh, well, it rules astrology. It rules technology. It rules in a, rules innovation, uh, progression, forward movement, progression of society, humanity, things of that nature, you know, doing things to propel humanity forward and to into a new dimension, into a new era, you know, into a new way of being and living and, and expressing ourselves, right? That's what you Aquarius is about. That's what Uranus is about, right? But then we have that aspect of... So then let's, let's stop right there for a moment. Let's not even go there. Uh, Aquariuses are a little bit complex, a little bit eccentric, a little bit... They definitely beat to the mark... They bar definitely march to the beat of their own drum, right? And it comes mainly from that Uranus energy, once again, where it's, you know, that kind of very... We have to remember that astrology, you know, is basically, you know, um, all about kind of using spirituality, using the star systems, using tarot, divination, metaphysical, you know, resources to kind of guide ourselves to guide kind of to kind of use it as a blueprint for our lives you know to kind of guide us into the future guide us into you know the, the next phases of our lives right um to help us make the the best decisions for ourselves or for other people right so with that kind of energy if we think of it in that terms with uranus energy and then you know uranus ruling astrology but also ruling technology you know and technology we know is like you know, like, it, it's super duper expansive, you know what I'm saying, like, technology falls under many different categories, technology itself is, this, is, is eccentricity, technology is, you know, you know, worldwide, it doesn't, you know, market itself to one specific person, one specific thing, one specific niche, right, 
Um, so if we think of it once again in those types of things, and then Uranus is always moving forward, this type of energy, you know, that Aquarius has, Aquarius is always moving forward, always marching to the beat of their own drum. They are, you know, their own compass, you know, they are, they, you know, they have their own inner compass, you know, and if no one else understands the direction that they're going in, if no one else understands, you know, what vision that they have for their life, then that's okay, because Aquarius has an inner knowing, but then we have to understand that also Aquarius is ruled by Saturn, and Saturn Saturn rules time, the past, karma, debt, uh, weight, self-discipline, hard work. So this kind of creates an energy of self-discipline. So it's like that extra layer of like, I really don't care if you don't understand. I really don't care if you don't, you know, want to go my way. I really don't care. Like, I really don't care because I'm self-disciplined. I know that the way I'm going, you know, how I want my life to be is the way it's going to be. And so, because Aquarius has that kind of energy where they literally just kind of do their own thing and they really don't care what others think, and then we have to remember, you know, Saturn also rules Capricorn, and Capricorns are notorious, by the way, I'm a Capricorn, so Capricorns are notorious for not caring what anyone thinks, Capricorns are notorious for you know, not being swayed by other people's opinions and not always going with, you know, what the crowd says or does. You know, Capricorns are smart, super smart, super intelligent, super duper disciplined, you know, for the most part. Very ambitious, very kind of, you know, strong willed, very practical, you know, methodical people, right? <clears throat> so then with Aquarius, we have that energy, you know, you know with the more eccentric kind of Uranus energy, you know, mixed in. So it kind of creates a very complex, <laughs> often misunderstood creature, often complex misunderstood personality, right? Um, that many people don't understand, many people... Um, think they think they know think they understand but they really don't and that kind of annoys Aquarius is like Aquarius are easily annoyed actually like easily frustrated with people so they like to be alone Aquarius is like the, we have to remember that they're also an air sign so the air signs are mental the swords in tarot you know the swords are associated with air signs Libra Gemini Aquarius the air signs are always mental communication you know verbal so it's like that it's like all in the head you know up in, in that region so Aquarius are you know they deal with the mental they deal with with the communication but at the same time Aquarius need to retreat and kind of have their own moments to kind of recharge and get away and you know kind of get you know back in touch with themselves and rebalance themselves out right because all of that stuff is important for an Aquarius with that Saturn energy once again um you know and <clears throat> I think people misunderstand that aspect of Aquarius that is um that likes to be alone that doesn't always like to be amongst the crowd you know um and when they do like to be alone they don't always like to be amongst people like you know Aquarius is known for being the humanitarian but Aquarius can sometimes like struggle with the one-on-one -on -one, you know moments you know one-on-one -on -one relationships one-on-one one-on-one -on -one situations you know and you know, it's often that in those situations, Aquarius, it's in those situations that Aquarius actually wants to retreat, right? And just be, not all, always, but sometimes, you know, it's like Aquarius would much rather be <clears throat> by themselves. It's actually more work mentally, emotionally for an Aquarius to have a one-on-one -on -one situation than it is for an Aquarius to be amongst a group of people sometimes. So... In a way, because of that, Aquarius, because being amongst people sometimes is exhausting, literally, and in a way, Capricorn and Aquarius have that in common. Capricorns get exhausted being amongst people. Like, Capricorns get misunderstood once again. It's that Saturn is a very misunderstood planet, too. Uranus and Saturn are very misunderstood kind of planets, but um, <clears throat> in a lot of ways. But, you know, Capricorn is definitely a sign that, you know, gets misunderstood for being boring and, you know, 
all work and no play, but we actually are super duper fun. A lot of times we can be the life of the party. It's just that we we need to recharge. We also like to be alone, and you know, I me Aquarius and Capricorns have that in common, and it's that Saturn energy. You know, it's 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 you know, it's a tough placement. You know, it's it's a, a tough loving kind of planet. You know, that builds character. You know, amidst obstacles, amidst sometimes tragedies immense hardships and a lot of times people don't understand that you know people you know a lot of people take things and life and people for granted and you know oftentimes when you have a, a lot of saturn in your chart because you are often uh, dealt hardships or have to deal with hardships with you know because hardships comes with saturn energy but with hardships builds character right um, but, you know, all, often with, with that Saturn energy, it's like we get to see a different side of life, maybe, than other zodiac signs or other placements. Whereas, you know, we get to maybe see often or come into contact often or deal with or maybe we just are more in tune with or realize, you know, that once again, maybe it's with that Saturn energy, the hardships that we go through. The hardships that were dealt we kind of see the evil side of humanity the side of humanity that's ungrateful and takes things for granted and you know that's not so beautiful or pretty right <clears throat> and sometimes to be amongst that energy you know or to participate in that energy you know is exhausting for a Saturn, you know, as a person with Saturn energy a lot of times. So, you know, Saturn is a very mental planet, you know, very, very mental planet. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you some clarity and insight about the Aquariuses. And if you would like a personal reading, please contact me at lamartownsandtarot.com for your own personal, private, confidential tarot reading or a personal birth chart reading okay i would also love it if you would subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification button so you get a notification whenever i upload a new video okay thank you also like me on facebook and follow me on instagram the links will be down below in the description box thank you guys so much and you know what aquarius just keep marching to the beat of your own drum you are your own person you know people don't understand us you know people who have that saturn energy who have to deal with you know maybe difficult circumstances that other people don't understand and it's okay aquarius it's okay sometimes to be a lone wolf it's okay to kind of retreat inward it's a good thing People don't understand that either. They take that for granted. Solitude and the ability to be alone. A lot of people don't like being alone. And Aquarius is one of those signs that does not mind being alone. And a lot of times, people don't understand others that don't mind being alone or like being alone. So, you're not crazy, Aquarius. You're just misunderstood. And as a Capricorn sun, Libra, Moon, <laughs> Sagittarius, Mars, and Mercury... With a Venus in Scorpio, someone who is highly misunderstood, I understand you, clearly, alright, to some degree. Thank you so much for listening and watching, I love you guys, peace out.